here we have the spare wheel holder that holds the um, jack and tools in it. And if I just unclip that, the piece we need is the peg, which you will no doubt be familiar with when we jack up the car. Use the hook, hook it in like so, and just lever off the wheel trim. And there we have it. Now, because we're taking the wheel off, I want to crack off all of these nuts while the weight is still on the car. Otherwise, you'll find it when it's in the air. It's very difficult to undo the wheel nuts when the wheel is spinning. So just undo them each. You might need to lean on them a bit or even put your foot in them if you need to crack them off. And there's another technique. If you really want to, you can take three off while the weight of the car is still on. And that will be still be safe enough and it won't fall on your ear. Now, while I'm at it, we're looking at this wheel here. You notice the hole in the middle. That's a circular hole, which denotes that this rim is a 5J rim, i.e. it's five inches. The wheel I have to the side here, you'll see that's got a square in the center, and that denotes that's a five and a half inch J uh, wheel. So that's a half an inch wider. So the five and a half Js were fitted on the later cars, and uh, on a car such as this, which is a 66 DS21, this would have been fitted, these circular hold wheels, 5Js, would be fitted on the rear with a 165 section tyre and a 180 on the front, which would have had the 5.5Js. So technically speaking, this wheel is incorrect on this car. Anyway, I'm now going to uh, lower the car down such that the wheel will come off the ground and I'm going to use the standard jack in the right position. So you set on high. I'll take this apart to demonstrate it again. We put the peg through at the highest point on the jack, hook it into place. And as you see, the car's already on high. And then lower the car down onto the lowest position. I've already got this axle stand here just for extra security. And as you see, as the car comes down and the weight goes onto the axle stand and the jack, as the car settles, it will lift the front wheel off the ground, which is quite amazing, one of the party tricks. And it does it for both sides, for, sorry, front and rear. And it's taking its time. Come on, wheel. This is where it's all going horribly wrong. It's not doing as it's supposed to. My question is why not? Perhaps we should have rehearsed this bit. Maybe it's because I have the axle stand at the front, but in theory, it should go right the way down. It's going, it's going, it's going. Oh, sorry, yeah. I need a bit more patience. Here we have the wheel off the ground. So, remove the previously slackened wheel nuts. Of course, if you're in a garage, you have a windy gun, which would make this job much quicker but here I am using the standard Citroen tool and lift the wheel off. Now the trick here to fit in a wheel, one of the tricks I use, is to sight through the hole to the top lug. And if you keep that in line with your eye, it will go straight on and you won't have to muck around trying to fiddle the wheel on. Right, so I'm now going to attempt to fit a wheel using the correct official Citroen tool, which comes with every car. The idea is that you feed the tool through the hole in the centre of the wheel and locate it in the middle of the hub and then slide the wheel on. But of course, the bolts don't immediately line up and you have to jiggle it a bit like I am <laughs> to try and get the damn thing to go on. Hurrah! Then it's just a question of putting on the nuts. And doing them up. You will do final tightening once the weight of the car is on the wheel. Once again, you can use a speed wrench, but here we're using the standard tool that you'll have in the car when you have to change the wheel at the side of the road. 
should you have to do such a thing. Once the wheel nuts are all on, we'll fire the car up, put the suspension on high and get the car off the jack. Unhook the jack and for tightening, if you're doing it absolutely properly, you do the torque wrench. But I would suggest that a good body weight on the spanner is probably sufficient. But I should recommend that you use a torque wrench if you want to be absolutely sure that it is done correctly. There you have it. Okay, refitting the wheel trim is easy. You can only put it in one place because there's one hole and that's for the valve. So locate the valve in the middle of the hole and just a swift is all you need. And that should secure the wheel.